I'm Savannah, and I'm going to show you the five techniques you use while performing a reflexology massage. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is thumb walking, and you're going to take your thumb and you start at the joint, and you're going to rock it all the way to the tip. And so, just like that, and you just scoot forward, and you're going to want to put a lot of pressure on the whole time, and it helps if you go all the way down into the fingertip. And move it forward. Typically do this along these nice lines, like you can do it down here, along the sciatic nerve line. And the second technique is called finger walking, and you do the same technique except with your index finger. This is good to use in sens more sensitive areas, like the top of the foot. Inch along the finger, right in between all of these metatarsals. And the third one is called rotation on a point. You just hook in your thumb, and then you're gonna, with your other finger, or with your other hand, just make a little rotation. And you can do this all along the diaphragm line, which is right here under the metatarsal heads. And you just rotate it and keep moving along. Uh, and then we also have the hook and back up, which is done with your thumb. You just hook it in and then you back up, and then you hook it in, and then you back up, and hook it in, and back up. And the last technique is the slide and press, and you're going to take your thumbs and slide in, and just alternate thumbs, and this one can be really intense, so you want to double check with your client, make sure the pressure's okay. How you doing, Courtney? All good, Savannah. Okay. There we go. Make sure you didn't miss any of these really important points in here. And those are the five techniques of doing a reflexology massage.